Hey guys, and welcome to this video on algorithm analysis. So in this video, we want to determine a function that we're going to call f of n that describes the number of times the statement y equals y plus 2 is executed in terms of n. Then we're going to determine a big O notation for the function f of n. Now below in the red rectangle, I have some pseudocode that we're going to use for this problem, where we're going to assume some arbitrary input for the variable n. Um, next, we have some integer variables, i, j, and y, where we set y equal to 0. After that, we have our outer for loop that runs from i equals 1, and it's going to run while i is less than or equal to 2 times n. Then we have our statement i++, plus plus, which means that i increments by 1 each time. And within that for loop, we have another for loop that runs from j equals 1, and it's going to run while j is less than or equal to i. Then we have our statement j++, plus plus, which means that j increments by 1 each time. And within that loop, we have our statement y equals y plus 2. So let's go ahead and get started and create our function. All right, so first thing we're going to do is create our function f of n. And next, we need to remember that a for loop can be represented as a summation. And since our first uh, for loop, our outer for loop, runs from i equals 1 to 2 times n, we're going to have a summation that runs from i equals 1 to 2 times n. Now, within that for loop, we have another for loop that runs from j equals 1 to i. So within this summation here, we're going to have another summation that runs from j equals 1 to i. And within that for loop, we have our statement y equals y plus 2, which is executed a constant amount of times. So we're just going to have 1 here for that. Okay. So now we have our function set up. Now we need to solve for the summations. So let's first solve for our inner summation here. And we can uh, use a formula to help us. So I'm going to call this formula number one. And it states that if we have a summation from i equals 1 to n of 1, then this is equal to just n. All right. So what that means is we can replace uh, the variable n here with our uh, variable i in our function. And the answer should be whatever we replaced that variable n with. So now if we rewrite our function, we're going to get the summation from i equals 1 to 2 times n of i. And again, that's just because we replaced um, for our variable n in the formula, we, re we replaced it with the variable i in our function. Okay, so next we need to figure out what this summation equals. And we can use another formula to help us out with that. So I'm going to call this formula number 2. Okay, so formula number 2 states that if we have a summation from i equals 1 to n of i, then this is equal to n times n plus 1 divided by 2. Okay, so all we need to do is replace for the variable n in the formula. We just need to replace it with 2 times n. So now our function looks like this. Um, it looks like 2 times n times 2n plus 1 all divided by 2. And all we did, again, was just replace... Um, for our variable n in the formula, we replaced it with 2 times n. Okay. So now let's do some simplifying of our function. So we have f of n equals 2 times n times 2 times n is 4n squared plus 2 times n times 1. So that's just 2n. All over 2. Now, what does this equal? This just equals 2 times n squared plus n. Now, this function belongs to big O of n squared. And we know this because when we use big O notation, we drop constants in low order terms. So that's basically it. That's our answer. Um, the statement y equals y plus 2 is ran 
two n squared plus n times, and our function in big O notation is big O of n squared. So this is our answer. So thank you guys. Um, please leave any questions you have in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. And if you found this helpful, maybe others will as well. So could you share the video? And as always, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.